is, is a drug that actually is in use in Japan right now. It's called the Derivone, or Radicut is the trade name. A copy of a press release, um, which is the, the, the uh, uh, Mitsubishi Tanabe, uh, which is the company that, that makes Radicut, their announcement that it, they've received approval for using it in Japan. Uh, and, but but we, know, we know something about it. I mean, there's been a couple of papers. It's something called a free radical scavenger. Free radicals are, are, are sort of end products of, of metabolism and, and can be toxic in the body. And there are a whole host of, of ways that the body has to get rid of these kinds of toxic uh, byproducts of, of energy metabolism. And, 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 and Adarabone reduces the burden of this. This was thought to be important actually um, because of, of a fortuitous dis uh, d discovery, which is that the first gene to be discovered that was causative for ALS, the superoxide dismutase gene, is, is a very powerful free radical scavenger. And so that sort of brought to, 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 to awareness the idea that this could be an important mechanism in ALS. It's been published, involved 250 patients approximately in Japan. Um, and of those 256 patients, about 200 were deemed eligible for the study. And they were equally divided into receiving a single dose of a, a single dose level of a Derivone versus placebo. So this was a placebo-controlled trial. And they were, they were treated for six months. And the outcome measures that were, me that were looked at were survival, uh, the, mo the commonly used study that, uh, uh, measure that, that we use in many trials called, uh, called the ALS functional rating scale, breathing capacity, and a couple of other things. And so the summary for this study was that this was a negative trial. There were no statistically significant effects on any measure in this, in, this, uh, um, in, in this study. However, virtually all of the outcome measures, and I'm showing you the ALS-FRS, which is the functional rating scale that we use commonly, virtually every, every measure looked a little bit like this, meaning that if you divided the patients after you analyzed them into patients that were diagnosed as having definite ALS and Definite ALS in, in, in experimental trial terms means ALS involving three body regions, head, arms, and legs. Or probable ALS, meaning ALS that involves two body regions, either head and arm, you can, you can do the rest. Or possible ALS, which or probable lab support, laboratory support ALS, which are, is ALS involving two body regions but requiring an EMG to make that diagnosis. And, and um, you, you remember the, an EMG is that test where people stick needles in your muscles and ask you to move. And so if you look at the, at the difference in, those, in, in, in these three groups, um, there's a tendency for the treated patients in all three groups to do a little bit better on the drug than on the placebo. And the amount of change, if you look at the difference between the two, the two bars, the amount of change is bigger in the definite group and, than the probable, and bigger in the probable group than the laboratory supported. So that was one thing they observed. The other thing that they observed was that uh, patients who had a very short time between starting the study and diagnosis did well as well. So that the two kinds of patients that did the best in this study were people with definite ALS who had just been diagnosed, who, who, had, who were, were very close to their diagnosis. So they actually did a smart thing. They said, well, if that's the group that this drug potentially is the most sensitive at treating, let's do another study where, where, where we only study those people. So the, this second study was also a six-month study, but the criteria for getting into the study was that you had a very short time between the onset of your disease and starting the study and that you had def definite ALS, meaning ALS involving all three regions of, of, of the neuraxis. And so they did that, and they've reported this data, these data at a number of scientific meetings, and, 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 and the graphs look pretty good. And, and what they report is that there were both meaningful, clinically meaningful changes and statistically significant changes that suggested that Radicut had a positive effect. Again, over six months. In a